We all know the phrase, this place is like Grand Central Station. It means it's busy. So imagine what it's like to do an art installation at the real Grand Central. Grand Central Terminal will be closed at 2 a.m. The BMW team had to wait until Grand Central Terminal was closed for a few hours in the middle of the night to carefully move in four cars from the BMW art car collection. Grand Central Terminal is now closed. In addition to the four art cars, a superstructure had to be assembled to accommodate an enormous work by Robin Rode. The South African artist used a 2009 BMW Z4 as a paintbrush, creating this work on a huge canvas. The results of all the work were a real crowd pleaser for commuters of all ages. What was your question? Can I drive one of them? No, you can't drive that car. It was painted by Andy Warhol, and now it's a priceless work of art that's normally in a museum. Why do they have steering wheels? Smart kid. The reason the Warhol car has a steering wheel is that even though it's a BMW art car, it actually competed at Le Mans after Warhol painted it. The BMW art car program started in 1975 when French race car driver Hervé Poulain asked his friend to paint his race car so it would stand out on the track. His friend happened to be American artist Alexander Calder. In the more than three decades since its inception, there have been a total of 16 BMW art cars. In addition to the car by Warhol, three other vehicles from the BMW collection are touring North America. This is the only one of these we have. In 1986, Robert Rauschenberg used photographic transfer techniques and other artists' work to turn this 635 into what he called a mobile museum. Roy Lichtenstein's famous pixelated look is in evidence on this 1977 BMW race car. The exterior of the car is supposed to reflect a beautiful drive in the country. Frank Stella, who is himself a race car driver, used a blueprint on the outside of this 1976 BMW in order to make your mind think about the differences between two and three dimensions. Stella was at New York's Grand Central Terminal for the unveiling of the installation, which lasted from March 24th through April 6, 2009. Busy commuters spared more than a New York Minute to stop and appreciate some of the free art. I think it's a, it's a form of expression that people should see more of in their daily life. Well, I think with cars, there's always an aesthetic part to it. And I think you can't get away from art as far as cars are concerned. And, you know, being in a public place, I think it's a good way for public to see free art in a recession. I'm amazed they're all still in such wonderful shape. I mean, they're not new cars. It's a recession, yes, but we're not depressed. And these are the kind of things we need to see. Echoing that sentiment, Jack Pitney of BMW says, even in tough economic times, BMW's commitment to art and design remains strong. You know, a lot of people have said, wow, is this the right time to be having a free exhibition of art in New York City, uh, given the economy? I would say that there's never been a better time or reason to have a free exhibition of art. Um, this is all about spreading joy, whether it's our art car programs, our new Z4 Roadster, or this tremendous piece of artwork behind me. Um, this is a great opportunity for people to feel better about the world in which we're all living in. The art cars are now touring Mexico until the end of 2009. The selection process is currently underway to choose the artist who will create the 17th BMW art car. For more information, just go to expressionofjoy.com. I'm Grant Winter reporting.